in the lush prehistoric landscapes of what is now the Sahara Desert, a weird dinosaur roamed about 110 million years ago. This was the Nigesaurus. While it might not have been the fiercest or the largest creature of its time, it certainly was one of the most fascinating. And no, not for the reason you're thinking. With more than 500 teeth and a mouth shaped like a vacuum cleaner, Nigesaurus earned its nickname as the Mesozoic Cow, due to its grazing habits and bizarre arrangement of teeth. At first glance, it might seem like a typical sauropod, a group known for their long necks, massive bodies, and herbivorous diets. However, this dino had several features that set it apart from its relatives. Firstly, a mouth full of teeth. Nigesaurus had more than 500 teeth arranged in rows within its broad, flat snout. Unlike most other dinosaurs, its teeth were constantly replaced throughout its life. This made sure it always had sharp, functional teeth for grazing. These teeth were specialized for cropping vegetation close to the ground, making it a proficient grazer of ferns, horsetails, and other low-lying plants. Along with all those teeth, it also had a unique jaw structure. The jaws of Nigesaurus were unusually wide, resembling the intake of a vacuum cleaner. Yes, this jaw structure allowed it to feed efficiently by sweeping its head from side to side, snipping off vegetation in a manner similar to a modern cow's grazing. On top of that, despite being a giant, Nigesaurus had a surprisingly lightweight skeleton. Its bones were filled with air sacs, much like modern birds, which reduced its overall weight and made it more agile than one might expect for a dinosaur of its size. It measured about 30 feet or 9.1 meters long and weighed approximately 4 tons or 4,000 kilograms, making it a relatively small sauropod. The head of this dinosaur was also remarkably small compared to its body, and it had a short, broad neck. This neck structure, coupled with its downward-facing snout, suggests that Nigesaurus spent most of its time feeding on vegetation close to the ground, rather than reaching up into the trees like some of its larger relatives. Although grasses as we know them today didn't exist during the time of Nigesaurus, this dinosaur likely feasted on similar low-lying vegetation. As mentioned earlier, its teeth were perfectly designed for this purpose, wearing down quickly as they constantly clipped and nibbled on the tough plant material. The jaws of Nigesaurus were lined with around 500 teeth, all of which were uniform in size and replaceable. These teeth were designed to last only about a month before they were worn down and replaced by new ones. This constant tooth replacement was essential for maintaining a steady supply of sharp teeth, capable of handling the wear and tear from their herbivorous diet. It was basically a Mesozoic lawnmower. Nigesaurus roamed the Earth around 110 million years ago during the middle of the Mesozoic era, especially in the Cretaceous period. During its existence, it became one of the most successful plant eaters on the planet, thriving for approximately 150 million years. Its ability to adapt to its environment and efficiently process plant material contributed to its long-term success. Despite their effectiveness as herbivores, Nigesaurus would have been a prime target for predators. The presence of large carnivorous dinosaurs like Suchomimus, a large-snouted spinosaur found in the same fossil deposits, suggests that Nigesaurus had to be constantly vigilant. Suchomimus, with its crocodile-like snout, was well-equipped to hunt and capture Nigesaurus, making it a significant threat. Nigesaurus was not a solitary creature. Much like modern grazing animals, these dinosaurs likely moved in herds, providing safety in numbers. The abundance of Nigesaurus fossils discovered indicates that these dinosaurs were quite common during their time. Their social behavior and herd mentality would have been essential for their survival, allowing them to effectively locate food sources and protect themselves from predators. So, the comparison to a cow is more than just a funny nickname. It genuinely reflects the lifestyle of Nigesaurus. The environment of Nigesaurus was vastly different from today's Sahara Desert. During the Cretaceous period, this region was lush and teeming with life. Rivers and lakes dotted the landscape, surrounded by dense vegetation. It dwelled in habitats dominated by inland floodplains, known as the riparian zones. This rich environment meant a lot of different creatures lived in the area. The area where Nigesaurus fossils are commonly found is in the Tenere Desert, at a place called Gadufawa. This region is part of the Elraz Formation, which mainly consists of coarse to medium-grained fluvial stones, 
The landscape, mostly covered by sand dunes, shows little fine-grained material. Among herbivores, Nigesaurus was one of the most abundant megaherbivores, after Ludosaurus in the same formation. Other herbivores included Oranosaurus, Elrazosaurus, and an unnamed Titanosaur. This group represents a rare gathering of megaherbivores, comprising both sauropods and large ornithopods. Nigesaurus shared its environment with several predators, like Cryptops, Suchomimus, Eocarcarchoria, and an unnamed Noosaurid. Crocodilomorphs such as Sarcosuchus, Araripasuchus, and Stolocrosuchus also inhabited the region. Additionally, fossils of a pterosaur, colonians, fish, a hybridon shark, and freshwater bivalves have been discovered. All aquatic animals found were inhabitants of freshwater environments. Nigesaurus played a crucial role in this ecosystem. By grazing on low-lying plants, it helped maintain the balance of vegetation and provided a food source for the predators. Additionally, their dung would have contributed to the fertility of the soil, supporting the growth of new plants and sustaining the cycle of life. A typical day for this strange-looking dino would start with the first light of dawn. As the sun rose over the ancient Sahara, the herd would awaken and begin their slow, deliberate search for food. They would probably spend hours grazing, their teeth constantly at work. The herd likely moved together, providing safety in numbers from the predators that lurked nearby. Although they were not equipped for fierce battles, their size and the strength of the herd would deter many would-be attackers. Social behaviors within the herd might have included gentle nudges, low-frequency vocalizations, and perhaps even coordinated movements to keep the group together. As midday approached and the heat intensified, Nigesaurus might have sought shade under the trees or by the banks of rivers. Their lightweight skeletons allowed them to be surprisingly agile, moving gracefully despite their bulk. In the cooler hours of the late afternoon, the herd would resume their grazing, making sure they ate enough to sustain their large bodies. Now, how was this amazing giant first discovered? It was in 1997 that paleontologist Paul Serino began digging up the remains of a dinosaur in Niger's Sahara Desert. He was working in a dry area called Garufawa, known for its rich fossil beds discovered by French uranium miners. Serino and his team found many light, airy bones, which are usually linked to theropods like Tyrannosaurus rex and the birds that evolved from them, so they initially thought they were dealing with theropods. But as Serino started to put the fossils together, he realized it was a sauropod, or long-necked dinosaur. Most of the bones seem typical for such dinosaurs, except for the oddly shaped head. Back in the lab, Serino even had to ask for help from colleagues who studied fossil fish and other reptiles to figure it out. There are many strange-looking dinosaurs, but Nigesaurus tacuti might just be the weirdest. Its jaws look almost like a big nail clipper, with rows of hundreds of teeth on both its upper and lower jaws. When Serino was trying to piece it together, the jaw seemed almost too strange to fit into its skull. But Serino's initial discovery of Nigesaurus was just the beginning. During a subsequent expedition in 2000, he found another Nigesaurus specimen, further confirming the prevalence of the species. The frequent discovery of Nigesaurus fossils underscores their dominance as herbivores in their ecosystem. This was probably the most common herbivore of the day. Their ability to efficiently graze and process plant material made them a key component of the Cretaceous ecosystem, supporting a wide range of other species, both herbivorous and carnivorous. Despite its relatively recent discovery, Nigesaurus has captured the public's imagination. Its weird appearance and the sheer number of teeth make it a standout among dinosaurs. Paleontologists like Paul Serino have shared its story through documentaries, articles, and even museum exhibits, bringing this Mesozoic cow to life for audiences around the world. If you're familiar with the YouTuber I Show Speed, maybe you found out about this dinosaur watching one of his videos. But we have to say, he had no idea what he was looking at was so amazing, or he wouldn't have looked so offended. Nigesaurus has also made appearances in various other forms of media, from children's books to educational videos. Its gentle nature and amazing adaptations make it an excellent subject for teaching about dinosaur diversity. For many, it represents the wonder and variety of life that once roamed our planet. In the end, one thing's clear. Nigesaurus was a specialized herbivore, perfectly adapted to its environment. Its unique dental structure and feeding habits allowed it to thrive for millions of years.
making it one of the most successful dinosaurs of its time. Despite the constant threat of predators, this dinosaur's social behavior and adaptability ensured its dominance as a primary grazer in the lush, prehistoric landscapes of what is now the Sahara Desert. If these guys still existed, they'd make great friends to humans. What do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and we'll catch you in the next video.